Yo, what's up? It's Paul. Paul runs for one here with Hart, oh, aka underscore Hartley Run. Oh, wait, Hardy Flakes. Hardy Flakes. I said it. I said it correctly earlier. Um, we just ran with the Vaporfly Next Percent. What do you think, man? I would say I like it better than the Fly Nets. Uh huh. Um, I've, as soon as I wore the shoe, like put on the shoes, I've noticed like that big base, like wider frame down here compared to the fly nets um which i i didn't really like the fly nets that much compared to this that's mm -hmm. why i've been training a lot with um with hokas mm -hmm. because they have that wider base and just have i have that innate stability whenever i run so immediately as soon as i start like there's a few steps with this at first it felt really stiff mm -hmm. and slowly it starts like mellow out for me yeah um it felt weird at first because I've been running with the Hoka's and they have a, like a lower drop. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as I, like, I don't know, I feel like I'm, the whole entire time I was like this way, it was pretty obvious to me. Yeah. And then I just got used to it, the gate wise. And from there on, I was like, oh. How did you like the, the new vapor weave? The weave? Uppers. Um, it reminds me of the, like as we talked about while we were running earlier, mm -hmm. it uh, reminds me of the um, SPs. Yeah. The Zoomfly SPs. Mm -hmm. I didn't really like the upper for the SPs. It felt weird, but this one, this type of material just feels different compared to the SPs. Yeah. That one felt more of a plasticky feel. Yeah, it was, was a, it was a lot more stiffer. Yeah, it, yeah, it was a lot stiffer. I remember. This one, it took me, like, it took a good while for me to like find that good fit in the mm -hmm. beginning, as you remember earlier. Mm -hmm. But especially the way it was, it, the lacing system as it is right now, mm -hmm. I usually like like this part up here really tight on me mm. whenever I run. And then around the, but, like, the mid foot, upper foot. Yeah, yeah, mid foot, upper foot. But this one, as soon as I put it on, like tie, I usually don't even, I, think, I always usually do a um, runner's loop actually, mm -hmm. whenever I run. Uh, for this one, my first, like, six miles with you yeah I didn't even need it let's go so like the last two miles I tried to like okay let me see if there's any difference between like me putting that runner's yeah. loop because sometimes I just feel a lot more mm -hmm. that safety like that heel lock but this one I, I don't even think you need the runner's loop to just run it just locks you in compared Damn. to the um, the fly nets and what I love about this is like the cornering mm -hmm. for this especially when you're running Oh God, because it has that wider frame, especially on the forefoot. <laughs> you don't, your your confidence is just like push through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think yeah, I think with the with the fly knit, it the fly knit version. When I was cornering, I could feel my foot shifting for some reason, but within within the the vapor weaves, like I felt very secure. Uh, like you said, the, the runner's loop. I, I for the most part, I usually use the runner's loop to just like heel heel tie lock. I really like the little padding on the on the heel. Yeah. Um, you know that that wasn't present during the like, was it yeah, the finest? Fly yeah. So I was, you know, it didn't bother me, but you know, this I felt a lot more secure. Uh, my foot is a little bit wide, so this felt really nice. Um, honestly, like the whole this the shoe just like right when we started running throughout the I ran six miles, he ran eight. Um, he's always way too fast fast for me, but. I think something that I really liked is just the comfort, like a mile in, like right away. And I, I, I didn't feel like a, a break in pain that I usually get. Mm -hmm. um, the traction was pretty good. We ran on a little bit of like a trail. I wouldn't even call it a trail. It's just yeah, kind of, it's just dirt. Just it was dirt, a dirt. Just bunch of rocks and it held up. You know, I, I felt secure. Um, I think I, I definitely want to continue to run in these to see the durability because I usually on the outer like heel it'll start to like shave oh i should show my hokas huh yeah the first i would say like this one like it's fairly yeah it looks like it's, it's really good up, right it's holding up i feel like you can run at least over 200 miles on this yeah because in my fly knits uh the fly knit uh versions like the side is like chipping and and you know some of the plastic is chipping off so the zoom x is getting yeah, exposed those, huh? yeah i should should have brought this to compare man we'll probably do that next time but um Dude, I just felt how light it, it was. The 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 vapor the vapor weave like felt light. It felt um, breathable for some reason. Like I, I didn't get any hot foot um, from like b compared to like the the fly knits. I I get like hot foot a lot for some reason. Okay. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
or it's just it doesn't breathe as well. And the only thing I hate about the flying is it's just way too narrow for me. Mm. I mm -hmm. feel like if this was my foot, this how it feels like when I was running on the flying notes. Yeah, it's really narrow. Um, that's why every time, like after a race, I have like ankle problems. Mm -hmm. Like I get my ankle sore because of that. Because I'm trying to like balance that out. Like yeah. trying to, my body's just pretty much just trying to stabilize myself. Like, hey, you gotta stay this way. Mm -hmm. But this one, I, I didn't feel no ankle pain. Um, I did feel some calf pain, but that's I think that's more of my problem because right. I do have weak calves. Mm. But other than that, you also think the uh, higher like the stack height is. Oh, actually, to, like, the stack height. Um, I don't know. It feels normal for me. Right. I mean, it, uh, I run on Hoka's. So okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fine. Um, it's more. It, like the back, the lower, um, this back portion of it, like lower um, back portion, like half of it. Mm -hmm. It did feel weird at first because, I don't know. On Hoka's, it feels everything is like kind of balanced out for me. Mm -hmm. like, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And, for me, like most of the weight is on the back end of the shoe. Right. Right. So I don't know how. Yeah, there's 15% more. Um, what is it? Zoom X in this. Yeah, yeah, Zoom X. So, but I didn't feel. I didn't. I don't know. I didn't feel it as like heavy as, as the, as the fly knits. I mean, I probably have to run in the fly knits again. But, um, I mean, I did run like the fly knits like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, I feel like. But this shoe, I would say really good update yeah it's a it's a I, I really like the uppers update i was worried about um how the uppers would fit because i was running in the the pegasus twos mm -hmm. and i was telling you how there Wait, was the turbos yeah the turbo twos um and i was telling you about how like i i would have gone a half size down just because like that that shoe doesn't have like that heel the heel cushion so there's like a lot more there's like probably like a little bit more space um, I feel like if the shoe also didn't have the, the heel cushion, it'd be the, the fitting would also feel the same. Um, yeah, so the, I, I feel like this is true to size versus like for my like the Pegasus 2s, it wasn't, oh, the Pegasus Turbo 2s, it wasn't like true to size. Um, I, I would gone like, I would have gone a half size down. Were you but, wearing the same socks or what? Yeah, I was wearing the same socks, dude. Oh, the, where were we? oh, okay. the Injinju's, like the five finger, the five, uh, okay. the toe socks. So the, it's a thinner sock, right? But yeah, this one just felt more secure. It just, it just, the, the shape of, it just shapes your foot too. So I don't know. I'm excited about this, this update. If only the zoom flies were a lot lighter. If only the zoom flies. <laughs> they're not even, yeah, they're like what? Two, yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited to oh, try that one. Oh, they're the freaking Bondies. Yeah, dude. Those, those are good training. Those are good training shoes. Um, I wasn't trained on those. So you don't have to beat these up. I just want the, uh, the white colorway. Oh yeah, no. I Nike needs to release the white colorway of the next percent. Nike should just give me some, so I can cop it real <laughs> quick. Cause this is this is way too loud, and I'm a, I'm getting a little old. Um, so you know I can't be this loud when I'm a slow ass runner. Uh, so white is cool, but yeah, dude. This is our uh, first impression video. Check out uh, Hartley's video coming soon I, to his YouTube channel. I don't have one, dude. He doesn't have one yet. Just follow me on Instagram. Just follow him on Instagram. I'll put it uh, down below. I don't even have that much followers, but you know, whoever sees this. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, we're. Uh, that's it. Peace. Oh yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Peace.